As I mentioned, Robin McGavers was there, um, and I actually got two books of his signed. The first one is the original hardcover of Grave Mercy. Um, I actually had this, I purchased this recently in February at my library book sale because I knew she was going to be there, and I wanted something for her to sign. Um, so I picked this up for like a dollar at my used book sale, and um, she did sign it and personalize it, and she was actually very excited to see her like original hardcover because they're hard to find um so i'm really excited to dive into this it's been on my tbr since i started book two so at least three years um but i'm really really excited to dive into it and her talking about it just made me so excited um, i've been really itching for like some really good ya fantasy lately so i'm really excited to dive into this and then because i can't um because i can't control myself i really really i really really love the new paperback editions i like the cover change and i know um courting darkness the newest novel um in the world like has this cover change so i couldn't help myself um and i purchased the new paperback edition because these covers are absolutely gorgeous and um i'm gonna if i can if i enjoy the series which i'm pretty sure i'm going to um i want to continue picking up these paperback editions um, and because I wasn't planning on buying it when I was there, um, but I couldn't resist. And I, it was a, like 20% off by like buying it at the festival. So, and she did sign this one as well. This one says get out of the darkness, hope. Um, and I just, I love these covers. They are going to look really, really nice on my shelf. Um, and I love the feel of them and, um, I'm really excited to dive into this. So, um, this I'll probably hold on to. I have a friend who has been wanting to read the series, so I might just this be the copy that I lend out. Um, but I'm really, really excited to dive into these. And then I actually um, was given an arc of The Beauty of the Moment, which uh, was really exciting because this like just recently came out. This has been on my TBR. I know um, Lala from Books on Lala like, loves this novel, loves this book. Um, and Tez, uh, Teniza Bethina. Uh, I'm probably butchering that. She's actually going to be there today. Um, she was there yesterday as well, and she did give me in. I did get the arc, and she signed it. Um, and, and it says here, it just says Thea, and then live in the moment, and she signed it. So I'm really excited to hear her talk about it today. Um, they're doing kind of a, it actually is going to be a really fun panel today. It's like a um, quote-unquote, like, speed dating for authors. It's going to, there's like, eight or nine YA authors and um, you're in like a room and each of them get to talk about their new books for like nine minutes and then like at the nine minutes is up it's like the next author gets to speak so it's like author speed dating so I'm really excited to like go and hear them all talk about their books um, and she's going to be there she's going to be talking about the beauty of the moment so I'm really excited um, to hear about it and um, I love this cover it is gorgeous so I'm really excited to dive into this and this was an arc so it was free um, but she did sign it and I'm really excited to read this and um, then I also wasn't planning on buying this but again, it was like 10% off and um, I really wanted to try to have something for a lot of, like for all the YA authors that I've been interested in and like that are books that are on my TBR, at least have a book for them to sign. And so I picked up Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills. Um, they had a couple of her other ones there, but I feel like this is probably going to be the one that I like the most and it has the average highest rating. Um, and I really, really like this cover, and so I'm really excited to read this. It's been on my TBR. She did sign it. Um, and it 
it just says to Thea and then Emma Mills. Um, but I'm really excited to read this. And again, this cover is gorgeous and it has like raised letters and um, I'm really excited. She's also going to be at like the author's be dating roundtable thing to talk about what's her newest one, Famous in a Small Town, um, which maybe I'll cave and buy it, but I really think that this is probably going to be the one I like the most, so I picked this up as well. And um, the biggest author that I was, the biggest two authors I was really interested in were Kirsten White and, and uh, Megan Shepard. I really wanted something for her to sign and I kind of just ran out of time getting something um, at a used price and then again, when I was there they had them 10% off and then the, the you know the proceeds of what you buy goes back to the festival and keeping it running and getting authors there so it was a much better place to buy it so I picked up Anti Dark and by Kirsten White love this cover cannot wait to read this it has two things that I really love fantasy and, and historical fiction um it's dark it's i heard it's really dark and like gruesome but it's something that i'm like really really excited to read and she did sign it and it says to thea be a knife um so yeah i'm really really excited to read this this cover is really gorgeous um it's got that really nice like paperback matte feel um and i'm really excited to dive into this and then while i was there i was really excited because they had um and because I was one of the first people online, I got an ARC copy of Slayer, um, which is her most recent novel. It just recently came out. This is an ARC, um, which I was super excited because this was my plan. I was going to purchase, I was going to purchase it, um, but it's not getting the greatest of reviews. It's pretty like average. Um, and because it's like almost $20 new, it wasn't something I could just justify spending if it, if if it wasn't something I was gonna love because guys, I'm on a budget. I got bills, I got, you know, I got bills, I got rent, um, and I just couldn't justify spending it. So I um, was just planning on getting, you know, the Anti Darken, um, but they had a couple arcs, and so I was really excited because I was one of the first people there and in line, and they had a couple extra, so I was really, really excited to have this and have her sign it. And she was really excited to give me the arc and sign it for me. Um, and it says to Thea, choose yourself. And um, so I got, yeah, I got this at the like the free arc table because there was a couple left. And so I was really excited to have this. It was like perfect. Um, and she was there and she signed it and I'm really excited to read this. I know it's not getting great reviews. I know a lot of people feel like it's just okay. I love Buffy. I'm really excited to read this. So I figured, uh, what better way to pick it up than when it's free <laughs> and I still have her sign it so I can still support her and support the novel. Um, and I'm really excited to dive into this very soon. And then the last three in the stack are the three from Megan Shepard. I did have these already. Um, I picked up Grim Lovelies, Grim Lovelies from my used bookstore this month because, again, I knew she was going to be there because um, they would, you know, release the authors months in advance, so you have time to prepare. Um, and so I knew she was going to be there, and, again, this was something I didn't know if I was going to love or not, so I didn't want to pay full price. I ended up finding it in my used bookstore where I had credit already, um, and so I'm really excited to dive into this. I do love this cover as well. Um, she was very sweet, um, and she signed it to Thea, Megan Shepard, and put a magic spell in it, so I'm really excited to figure out what the magic spell is and what it does. And, um, and then I got uh, character cards. I got um, all the character cards for this card is for the book as well. Very, very soon. And so I'm really excited to dive into this very soon. And when I went to my when I went to my library book sale in February, I ended up finding the first two copies in the Mad Men's Daughter series. I think it's a trilogy. Um, and so I picked the Mad Men's Daughter up for a dollar, and um, she signed it here. And it says to Thea, enjoy the madness, Megan Shepherd. Um, and she was really excited to see it, and she said that she was like, oh, Batman's daughter. And I was like, yeah, they're apparently pretty, I was like, surprisingly pretty hard to find. And she was like, yeah, they're, they're a little tough. Um, but I'm really excited to have to finally dive into this. This is something that's been on my TBR for at least three years, I think. Um, and I'm really excited to read this. And so she signed it, and she was super sweet, really nice. Um, and then she did also sign her Dark Curiosity, which is the second one. Um, I haven't gotten the library sticker off of it yet, which is really frustrating, um, but I'll eventually get it off. And then she put Toothia Stay Curious, Megan Shepard. So 
So I'm really excited that she signed both of these and I'm really hoping that I can get to them very soon. So well, that's everything I hauled yesterday. It was quite a lot to carry in my bag. made my backpack very heavy, but I'm really excited for today. There's not going to be as many books today, um, but I am going to get going. I have to shower and get ready to go, but I hope everyone has a great Sunday, and I will see you guys a little later. Bye. Ms. Lillian Rivera, Lillian, Rivera is an award-winning writer and author of the young adult novels Dealing in Dreams, which comes out Tuesday. Yes. yes. Yay! Woo! And it, is, it will be available momentarily and The Education of Margot Sanchez, which I highly recommend, which is available now in bookstores everywhere. Her work has appeared in numerous national publications. She has been featured a featured speaker in countless schools and book festivals throughout the United States. She teaches creative writing workshops and lives in Los Angeles, California. You can also view her website to get a sneak peek of dealing in dreams. Danielle Clayton is an author, a former librarian, yay, and the COO of the nonprofit We Need Diverse Books and co-founder of Cape Literary. Literary a creative kitchen whipping up decadent and decidedly diverse literary confections for middle grade, young adult, and women's fiction readers. That sounds great. She lives in New York City and travels the world in search of the best slice of pizza. Okay, New York pizza in Tucson. That's what I'm going to tell you. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's not really New York pizza, but it's really good. Uh, she's, been, <laughs> she's been on five out of seven continents and has grand plans to reach all of them. Her new book is The Everlasting Rose. You can also visit her website to read about a few of her favorite things. Shelly Sack here describes her life as pretty, pretty plain Jane and average Joe, which suits her fairly well. She is in charge of full bellies and clean underwear, tasks she takes with an element of humor and pride. Her experiences are prolific, her hopes are still abundant, and her realizations wish wishfully profound. To Shelly, it is what we make it. Shelly lives to write and has five finished young adult novels, Dear Opal, The Freemason's Daughter, which is a two-part YA historical fiction, The Selkie's Gift, and The Antidote, which we are featuring here. Let's have it. Okay. And Shelly says, the fact that my children occasionally still make eye contact with me when surrounded by their friends is no small thing, and is a unique and reassuring gift in and of itself, that is for sure. And Suzanne Young is the New York Times best-selling author of the program series as well as Girls with Sharp Sticks, Poet Anderson, All in Pieces, Hotel for the Lost, and several other novels for teens. Originally from Utica, New York, um, Suzanne moved to Arizona to pursue her dream of not free freezing to death, smart move. She is a novelist and an English teacher, but not always in that order. Visit Suzanne's website to learn more about her books and see pictures of some of her adorable pups. They're very, very cute. And Sarah Holland, who is back again today, um, grew up in small town Minnesota, but also in the countless fictional worlds of books. She graduated from Wesleyan University and worked in a tea shop, a dentist's office, and a state capitol building before heading to New York to work in publishing. These days, she can be found exploring the city's bookstores or finding new ways to put caffeine in her bloodstream. <laughs> Evermore, the sequel to the New York Times bestselling book Everless is her sophomore novel. And you can visit her website to see the Ever Everless playlist. And again, um, the theme is Dangerous Secrets, The Will to Live. So please welcome <coughs> Shelley Sackier, Sarah Holland, and Suzanne Young, who will talk about the book. Okay. This, this is a one time. I was going to say there's this melancholy little note on my microphone that says, hold me close. I know. I'm here for you. Um, so so uh, Girls with Sharp Sticks is quite literally about a boarding school with a dark secret. Um, so it's about a school um, for girls where they're trained to be beautiful and perfect. Um, it's Stepford Wives meets Wesley. So the, the girls are, one, one of the girls goes missing, they then try to figure out the secret of their academy. Um, and I think, I mean, it, it depends, each kid is different. Um, I know I personally love thrillers and horror. Um, and for me, a lot of it, this sound, I guess this isn't the greatest reason, but a lot of it was boredom. Um, I found the idea of a secret just so exciting, and it made me feel really intelligent if I could figure it out before the end of the novel. And I know my daughter, she's uh, 15, and she loves thinking that she's figured out a book uh, before it's done. Even when she's wrong, she's like, well, I mean, I knew that. That was my second choice. Um, so, <laughs> we, you know, one of the things, she actually hates watching movies with me because I can usually figure it out, and it's because writing, you 
kind of have these red herrings that we put into our books to, to fool you. Um, so I think I think they like the power in trying to investigate something because in our real life we unfortunately don't know about the secrets around us usually until they're too late and revealed. Um, back in my day, I'm Jerry Springer. Um, but now, you know, it's just what you hear. So yeah, I, th I think it gives them some power in a situation to kind of unravel the secret. Um, Hey guys, so it's like the end, it's like Monday afternoon or so, um, I just wanted to pop in with kind of my uh, day two book festival haul. Um, I have a lot of great things here, I have a lot of arcs that I got, um, so I really quickly wanted to show you guys here. Um, a copy of a book that I already had was The Program by Suzanne Young, because she was there and she did sign it for me. This is Thea Be Brave, um, and I ended up picking this at my used bookstore because I did know she was going to be there. So I did already have this, and she signed it. And then um, they ended up getting permission to release her new novel early. So I ended up buying a copy of Girls with Sharp Sticks, which I am currently reading. Um, I just started it. It's really good so far. Um, I'm like 50 pages in or so. And she did sign this one as well. And it says Thea, and you've got her name. Um, so we got permission to sell the book early at our festival. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go out and pick a copy and pick up a copy and take advantage of that. So I did pick up that as well. And uh, Danielle Clayton was there and so I picked up a copy of The Bells. The Bells was something that has been on my TBR for about a year or so. Um, and it was just, it's so intriguing and uh, after hearing her talk about it and her inspiration and the story, I was so intrigued. I knew I had to pick up a copy and so I picked up a copy here. This is To Thea, May You Always Find Beauty. And I'm really, really excited to get to this very soon. Uh, and it's a beautiful book. It's a lot heavier than I was anticipating, but I'm super excited to dive into this very, very soon. And then I also um, actually won two, cop uh, two arcs, and I won Watch uh, Black Enough, edited by Evie Zaboy, and Watch Us Rise by Renee Watson and Ellen Hagen. And actually, they were both at the festival as well. So they did sign it. And it says, Thea, for all the ways you rise. And they both signed this one. I'm really excited to dig into this. It's a um, YA feminist, um, YA contemporary that deals with feminism. And so I'm really, really excited to dive into this. And then also picked, and then I also won a copy of Black Enough, which also was signed by um, both Danielle and um, Renee. Um, so Renee Watson signed this one, and then Danielle's is, and then she just put her name in hers, so, but I'm really excited to dive into both of these. Uh, and then they had a tent that just had free books lying about, and I found three books that I've been wanting to read for so long, and they're all arcs. I'm really, really excited to dive into them. The first one is Crown of Feathers. This just recently came out. It's a February release. Um, it's like a YA fantasy. I've heard really good things about it. So I'm really, really excited to dive into this. And I also got a copy of Four Dead Queens, which also because it was a February release and is a YA fantasy that kind of gives me like Three Dark Crowns vibes, um, but I'm really excited to dive into this. And then um, the last book that I ended up picking up was Death Prefers Blondes, and this has been on my TBR as well. Um, this has been on my TBR for like six months or so, and this just came out. This actually just came out in January. This thing is a chunker, so I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but I'm really, really excited to dive into this as well. So that's everything for my day two festival haul. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I It was so much fun. I love going every year. I got to meet some amazing authors, got some amazing books. I'm so excited. I always spend way too much money. Um, it's the only time I really spend money on like full price new releases so i'm really excited to dive into all of these let me know down in the comments below um anything about these books that i hauled or um if you have a kind of a big book festival in your town that you like to go to um but thank you guys so much for watching happy reading and i will see you guys in my next video bye